What's up? Welcome to the stream. Today I'm just working on trying some more things. Yesterday was the uh, making it so you can pick up bombs with the top hat. I don't think I have the item for that right now. Um, today I'm going to work on, yeah, trying out some more things on my trailer, get some things done on the trailer list. Here's that here's that top hat bomb thing. Ah! You get your timing right, it's pretty cool. Oops. One, two. Perfect, there we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try is a suggestion from a player to try a little bit of movement during the sword swings. Um, this is a stylistic decision I made a long time ago, very close to the beginning of the game, where I was like, ah, I don't like it when, it, when the player moves. When you sw swing the sword, it feels really cool to kind of be rooted in the ground when, you, when you're swinging the sword. So I'm gonna try experimenting with it anyways. Um, even though I made that decision a long time ago, um, the code's still there, I can re-enable that. And besides, um, maybe maybe there is you know some maybe there's kind of a middle ground there that would really really be awesome. So let me try this out here as it is. Uh -huh. It stops you, and you don't start moving again until you're done with the. I like it the way it is. I like it a lot. But I'm gonna keep an open mind here. So to use the sword, if we were to out allow, let's see, how did that work? Something in attack system. Yeah, it's, it must be part of start attack. Here it is, add some kickback. <laughs> it's pretty pretty short. Uh, code change. Let's see what that feels like. This is a little kickback, so, or not kickback, but, oh wait, is that what I want it meant? I don't mean kickback, I mean like kick forward. that did anything. Let's multiply it by 10. See if it works now. It might be because either it's the opposite direction or I disallowed movement during a sword swing. Oh no, that definitely, whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. With the times 10. Wham, wham, wow. Oh, it's so awesome. Wow, this could be an item. kind of neat okay that's pretty awesome at, up there at a really high number like that a 
What would like a minimal amount for that be? I really didn't feel anything when it was at 61. Let's try twice that. So you can't really feel it if you're holding down a direction. But you can feel it if you're, if you're just pressing the button. only happen if you're pressing a direction. So if e dot move dot compass dir is not equal to k dir none, then add some of this kick forward velocity. So while you're, it still doesn't, you still don't really feel it. Let's try doubling it again. And I'm testing this on my controller, of course. I should also test this on the keyboard to make sure it still doesn't feel weird on the keyboard. starting to get to the point where it feels like there's some physics to it, which I never really liked. Unless, unless you just go way overboard like it was before, where it was at 600. That felt pretty awesome. So let's see, 240s feels like a little too much. Hmm. It kind of would be nice to do this if you repeat, if you're repeating the attack. So uh, let's try a middle ground here, 120 between 120 and 240. So about 180 maybe. feels natural this way if you're holding down a direction for there to be a little bit of movement. Let's see what happens with the attack box here. Yeah, so the attack box moves with you. So you still got that stop being movement, which is kind of cool. And you still got it so if you're just standing there, it doesn't move.
Okay, 180 feels all right. It's about time to start trying it with some enemies. I'm imagining if I should try it with... The, yeah, I should, I should do something about this. Let's, let's try it one, another way. In the movement system, La, 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 la. There's something here where it disallows movement. Here, as if you're not attacking. Let's see what happens if we just take that off. So if you're if you're pressing a direction, it'll just always do something. While you're even while you're attacking. This is uh, this is interesting because it's not stopping me from moving at all, right? While I'm while I'm using the sword, which is kind of interesting because you have a lot more control as a player. Attacking, that it would just still allow you to move, but not as much as when you normally would. So this is this is an interesting take on it. I'm glad I tried this. So we'll do slower movement if attacking. I think in general we can just go V times equals a half. So there, it's still going to allow movement the entire time while you're swinging the sword it's just that the movement will be about half as slow or half as fast I mean so the kind of about with this is it doesn't really feel like there's any momentum right if you can just swing your sword and immediately start swinging moving backwards it's weird it's, it, it, you do feel like you kind of have more control over the player but it doesn't feel natural why does why does this feel like I don't know is that doing anything there let's make this really small 
Looks like the chat might not be working or Twitch just had some weird issue today. Yesterday's, they are having a weird issue with emailing people. I don't know. I don't know. This might just be a, a video with you and me. You here on YouTube and me just here chatting. Pretending like there's people chatting. the attack being active is such a short time window. That makes sense. Yeah, see there's this, this tiny bit of time where you're moving at a slower speed. So if I move attack there and move backwards, Actually, this kind of works. You really, you don't, you lose your momentum as much this way. Hmm. Kind of nice, actually. Hey, what's up, Zilton? How you doing, man? What you learning? How's school going? I kind of like it that way. What if we do both of them together? This could get crazy. It's going great. You started using Unreal? Right on. Nice man, so you're you you can model stuff and now you're you made an elevator. Now you're getting into the real game dev stuff. That's awesome. Let's see if it feels like it really stops you. This is totally feel. It's all feel stuff. So what's your elevator do? <laughs> Elevates? Like what's it part? Is it gonna be part of something? Something else? That sounds kind of fun. And what's your character like? Just a test, right on. <clears throat> Pardon? Huh? Let's kick forward. I'm really not so sure about this. Except for this one time when it was like so high it felt crazy cool. Oh, oh. I was just asking about what's your character like? What kind of, what's the elevator? What's your character? Does you have a character, character that goes in the elevator and all that? Okay. 
Okay, so with this one enabled, it doesn't allow that other kickback. So it's kind of one or the other. Oh, no character. Oh, so it's just an elevator. That's cool. You got a screenshot of it? I'd love to see it, man. It's an invisible mass of consciousness. <laughs> awesome. That sounds like a cool game. How, that's actually a pretty unique idea. How many games have you played where there, you have no character? Or no apparent character, no visual character? It's just totally invisible mass of consciousness. You like Unreal? Sweet. Yeah, right on. Whoa. It's so cool, this huge, huge burst in your speed like this. It's like, what? What is going on? Yeah, I guess I gotta try all these out. Nice, it is. You can make 2D games in 3D in uh, Unreal as well. You'll get to that, I'm sure. I'm sure, there'll be some kind of class or something you take where it's like, this is gonna be 2D games. All right, I need to fight a few enemies. Gotta try this out in a real situation. First of all, let's go with the old school way. What's up, Sean is crazy. Yeah, yeah, totally. Unreal can do 2D games. Right on. I'm glad you like it, man. It's so it's really great when you find an engine that you really resonate with. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I totally get the feeling now. This completely stops your movement the way the game used to be. Which is it's kind of sticky. But if I'm holding a direction while I'm attacking, it doesn't, it doesn't allow me to move at all. Let's do the second one. This where it does slower movement if you're attacking. This is kind of cool. Ahoy! What's up, Salad? Did you get that bug fix, man? With your renderer? Oh, this is kind of cool. So if I'm holding down a direction, I am moving Towards the enemy still a little bit, which is kind of neat. Bafu's not here. Sometimes he's here, sometimes he's not.
Especially allows you to move in the reverse direction. What to try next? Let's go into the ridiculously powerful one. Oh no, you drove yourself crazy? Okay. Okay. So you're going to go line by line and find out where, where it happened. Oh man. I hate that feeling when you're going crazy. You're trying to like, where, what, what? I know what you, I know what you're going through, man. Whoa, whoa. That was crazy. This is like almost too much. Oh, because it doesn't kick in the attack box until after a second. Kind of miss. Which is just kind of weird, actually. What if that happened? So this this extra kick forward happens only when you're swinging. You were pissed, yeah, man. I'm sure. Sweet, you're gonna make a game around a species of your own design. You're regretting your decision of the kind of creature? Why? Oh, because you're gonna have to 3D model it? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Right? I can hear, I hear you, man. I hear you. Where is the attack system? There's tick attacking. Oh, here it is. T tick first attack tick. <laughs> it's a good name for it. Kick forward. Let's add some kick forward when you first attack tick. It's an, oh, you're getting an error? GL draw elements returns invalid operation. Oh, the invalid operation. It's a really nice specific error. Jeremy, if a geometry shader is active and a model is incompatible. Oh, what? Okay, this is not even working now. Probably because of the code that blocks it from moving while the attack is active. Non-zero buffer object name. Huh, sounds confusing. What's up, Steve? I'm trying out some movement here. I got some feedback on the feel of the game and the feel of combat. I'm trying out some crazy stuff here. 
this is one where if you're holding down a direction, it just does this crazy amount of movement. Oh, that's kind of cool. So now it moves with you. <laughs> oh, this is kind of fun, actually. Uh, I think it means a rainbow for object is still bound. Huh. Yeah, so I'm just trying out some things today, Steve. I got, I'm working on my trailer list. And one of the things is to try out a little bit of movement while you're attacking. Let me turn it back to how it was. How it was originally before all this. So I need to turn this back off. Feature bugs, yeah, I know, right? I know, the lunging sword attack, this could actually be an item, right? You Maybe you could pick up an item where it just allows you to supercharge while you attack. Okay, so if I turn that off, this should be back how it was before all this, yeah. Okay. So before, the way it was is that you kind of felt rooted. Like every time you swung the sword, it would stop your movement. And you would have to start again and build your momentum back up. And I kind of liked that. I was, I really liked how rooted you felt and how sticky you felt from, from doing that, right? You have to like, you stop in your tracks. But the thing is, if enemies are moving, like that little bat right there, that little bat's kind of moving around and stuff, and you swing your sword, the thing is, you stop, like 0.2 seconds goes by, and then the sword attack actually happens. And so if an enemy is moving, and you're still holding down your direction of attack, you don't really have as much control because you're so rooted, right? This is how it was. You just stop. You stop completely. The attack box is always in that one little spot. So if an enemy's moving and you want to be moving with it, it doesn't work that way. So Lobster people and crab people? You got it, man. That sounds like a great idea. What's up, Mom here? Okay, so I'm trying I'm played around here with a lot of different options. So I think I, I think a combination of them all is pretty cool. This lunge attack here with 600 is like too much almost. And this oh, this should also be based on your movement direction, not your no, nope, no, nope, your attack direction. Let's try this back at like 180. And then as an you could use an item like six like if there you have some kind of item which allows you to lunge or whatever, you could I could pump that number up. And then in the movement system, all we need is this. And this is going to allow a little bit of movement while attacking. But maybe we should do this before or right here. There. Okay, so now we have, we're allowing the player to move while the attack is active. We're making the player's movement slower though. And then we're adding a slight kick on the very first tick of the attack. <laughs> nice, Zilton. Help you? You're like, wait, lobster, crab, scorpion, and spiders. I know, it's all gonna be a lot of work, wait. Okay, here I got an idea. Why don't you just make it based on their le the number of legs, right? The number of legs means more work. So, you should have less legs. Okay, so now if I stop moving and use the sword, the attack box is always there, but... Okay, 
this is this is a little bit too much movement. A little too much. Let's take that down a little bit more. This is why we can't have nice things, Elton. Uh. Echo, what's up? Trailblazer for Commodore 64? I haven't, uh, let me search it here in a second. I'll, I haven't, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Kind of cool. So as I'm, if I'm holding down the direction while I'm attacking, there's a little bit of movement. It's kind of good. I think it's a little, still a little bit too much though. Let's take that to maybe back to sixty. Whizball. This is Trailblazer. Nice. And here we go. Most of the people know, um, the sequel Cosmic Causeway a little bit better than this original one. And uh, one small trivia about this game is that uh, in 2005 a version of this game was made for Gizmondo, which is quite um, a rare console nowadays. The quantum but mechanics video. Oh, I geez. suck at this game, as you what, will what see. What does quantum soon. mechanics look like, man? It's a Ridiculously difficult game that requires okay, you have to the remember all ball? the courses. This is kind of interesting. What? So you're rolling a ball. Oh you no, the ball back fell of down. Your hand. You will still suck. Sky at roads. It. something. <laughs> wow. It's a loud game. Blank. Look at that. Look at those parallaxing stars. That's pretty awesome. Good games, good games. Can you guys still hear me? La 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 la. Okay, let's try that out again. 
let's go back. I'll go back to the, the way it was just really quick. I want to see what was it like before all this? With backwards movement, was that possible? If it needs a seizure warning, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, BFX, BFXR, the fixer. BFXR. I think it's bfxr.net. And then you can they got a, a web app and it's also a downloadable app. Okay. So if I press if I use the sword and then it start walking the other direction. I can start moving, but my momentum has been killed completely. So let's go back to this new change. Let's try that out. What's up, Rocket Bunny? Yo. Still trying some things today, trying more things. Oops. Yeah, so the only thing I don't like about this so far is that you can move backwards. You can swing your sword and then be moving backwards. Which is kind of weird. Hmm. What's the name? That's their, um, uh, let me take a, no game audio? Oh, it must be because I just changed it. Oh man, I think the only way to fix that is to restart game show. Well, I mean, I've already got a 43 minute video here for YouTube. All right guys, well, I'm gonna start restart. Yeah, I switched to headphones, I think. I think it's I think it messed up game show. So let me um, I'm gonna restart the stream for y'all watching on YouTube. I apologize that I'm gonna be cutting this short um, and that there's no way I can stitch two videos together. But um, yep, yeah, I'm gonna restart the stream. I'll be right back so we can get some game audio. <laughs> 